Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your flying weather outlook for the week and weekend ahead brought to you exclusively by Fly Magazine in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Um, now, uh, still in this strange situation, lockdown across England. I know some of you are out and about flying and certainly Wales and Scotland and um, are you still flying now in Northern Ireland? Um, so if you can get up there, oh, look at you. If you can't, this is the ideal opportunity, as I keep saying, to learn more and more about weather. Now, as far as this weekend goes, um, actually, you're not going to miss much. Friday looks decent, yeah, but it's poor on Saturday, poor on Sunday as well, with some showers and strong winds. All right, early next week, but I don't think we're missing out on a great deal just at the moment. Now, I said about learning, if you want to learn more about the weather, and of course, Christmas is coming up, so you think to yourself, uh, what Christmas gift ideas? Uh, are out there. Well, I've got my Pocket Weather Forecaster book and my WeatherWise DVD. We've just had a fresh delivery of both in, so we're taking orders now. And uh, you can go to weatherschool.co.uk, find out more about those, but uh, they're always ever popular at this time of year. So if you'd like one of those, uh, or you know uh, somebody who would, then uh, why not get your orders in now? Um, perfect for any pilot and non-pilot alike. As well as that, I've got my uh, next Aviation Weather Schools coming up on the 6th and 13th of November. I'm booking for those now at weatherschool.co.uk. To book your place now, just go to weatherschool.co.uk, scroll down, and uh, you'll see there it says book securely by card or PayPal. What we do there is um, we build your confidence in your ability to be able to make forecasts yourself. And the course runs over two Sunday mornings from 09.30 to 12.30 hours. It's presented live by yours truly, I'm afraid. So you have to put up with me and um, build your confidence in making forecasts yourself, spotting weather windows five days in advance and really take you beyond the PPL net. It's always great fun. You can find out more, as I say, at weatherschool.co.uk. And uh, it's also the place to order your um, books and DVDs. Just go to shop and uh, you can make your orders there. OK, this is how things shape up then as we go through today. Ridge of high pressure is building across the country. And what I'm going to be doing on this forecast over the next few weeks um, while we're in lockdown is just to kind of drop in a few more technical terms. And these ridges of high pressure are one of those. Ridges of high pressure are actually decent areas of weather. They tend not to last very long, but they can bring some fair conditions. So we've got one of those over us today. Generally, it's bringing flyable conditions this afternoon. Some drizzle for Western Scotland and for the western coasts of Ireland. Now, as far as tomorrow is concerned, southwesterly flow, we've got the remnants of a cold front across eastern England. It's weakening all the time. Um, some showery bursts of rain in that, and I think generally we're into marginal to non-VFR conditions. Typical basis, around 2,000 feet, tops at around 15 to 20,000 feet. Some embedded Q or QNIM uh, on those. Um, Western Scotland, western parts of Ireland, got a trough coming in here. Those of you who are at my weather school this weekend and the weekend coming, uh, we've spoken about troughs already and the fact that they can bring heavy showers with embedded cumulonimbus and a risk of thunderstorms. That's exactly what they're going to do across western Scotland on Friday, bringing non-VFR conditions here. Most other areas, though, tending to be VFRable. 3,000 foot bases, 12,000 foot tops, although always a risk of showers affecting western coasts and hills. For Saturday, while well, I did say it was a poor day, look at that. I think what I'm going to have to say is for most areas, it's non VFR. 1 to 2,000 foot typically, 10 to 15,000 foot tops. Most rain affecting western areas, a drizzle, a low cloud affecting coasts and hills. Probably okay parts of the Midlands and northeast England, but I think we're pushing it a little bit. Um, really, I don't think it's a pleasant day. Now, Sunday, looking non vfrable in the west. Heavy showers driving in on this westerly wind. You see that U-shape in the isobars. Signature, again, of a trough in the isobars indicating some heavy showers. So I'm going to say non to marginal in the west. Eastern air is tending to fare better here, uh, but strong winds in the south leading to non vfr here and becoming increasingly marginal during the afternoon across eastern parts as well. So just not great. Monday is better. Oh, look, another ridge of high pressure, that end shape there. Ridge again, remember what I said, fair conditions. Always a lot of cloud around, but I think base is two to 3,000 feet, tops about 8,000 feet on Monday. Drizzle affecting Western Scotland, Western coast of Wales, Northern and Western parts of Ireland. Some low cloud here as well, and base is around 1,000 feet, tops at about 10,000 
thousand feet so non there farther further west you go and then for tuesday well drizzle affecting southern coast of england and wales as well as western wales and into the west of scotland and ireland some uncertainty over exactly where this rain is going to be um i generally think non vfr in these areas okay for northern scotland probably marginal to vfr across eastern parts of england 3,000 foot here, 12 to 15,000 foot tops. One or two showers coming through. My reason for marginal really is it could be quite breezy. And then for Wednesday, some showers affecting eastern areas on Wednesday. Marginal VFR here, tending to become VFR from the west as a ridge builds in, but non VFR will again across western Scotland thanks to summer showers. In between, though, probably some flying to be found, although it is again a rather messy day. OK, I'll leave you with that for now. Don't forget uh, the Christmas gift ideas for you. Get your orders in now for those. My pocket weather forecast will come up weather wise. Perfect for pilots and for uh, anybody who's just got an interest in the weather. And then uh, Aviation Weather School taking bookings now for that. I think we've got five places left um, on the Sunday mornings of the 6th and 13th of December. The course entirely online it means that you can study it in the morning and then go flying in the afternoon building your confidence in your own ability to make forecasts yourselves go and have a look at the reviews on the website to see more about what other pilots have said i love the reviews it's great to get that positive feedback okay i will leave you with that for now uh, don't forget to join me at 7 30 thursday evening um, with the uh, flyer crew as usual i'll have a bit of a weather quiz in there for you as well this thursday uh, but for now whatever you're doing thanks again for watching keep the sun shining bye for now